Hello and welcome to some late model fixed here at Five Flags Speedway. We are sending off the late model and uh, we are doing so with Nick in the same lobby. That's pretty cool. It's just a coincidence this time. Last time we joined uh, the Advanced Legends for a race because he said he was going to be there. This was just a coincidence right afterward. But we are sending off the late model because we have learned that uh, there is a new pro late model coming to the service, I, I think, or is it just like updated late model? I don't know how it works, but uh, it will be replacing this one. Green flag, green flag. So farewell okay. to this car, but we do have a, a cool new thing coming in its place. I am under driving qualifying at the moment. And uh, I'm trying to focus on doing so. Wow, that was bad. That was really not good. P7. That was a uh, 17.5. The car in the front lap time is a uh, 17.5. That is not very good. Track is slicker than I remember in practice. That was not good. Uh, we got in the threes at least. That's a little bit better. Huh. I kind of wish I'd put the uh, brake bias a little higher. I have it lower for the race, but I think for qualifying it might have been better to have it higher because I was getting pretty loose and I didn't want to spin or wreck the thing. I was putting a little bit too much brake in it as well. It really doesn't take much to get this thing rotating, especially when I have the brakes where they were. Hmm. It could have driven in a, hard, a little harder, too. See, that's a little more like it right there. It was that one. 3-2-8. Yeah, it's not really even much better. So we're not very fast, but that's okay. I'm never really that great in this car. Uh, except for sometimes when I am, for some reason. <laughs> I mean, not great, but I've done okay. Like, uh, got a win at Nashville Fairgrounds earlier this season for some reason. That was weird. I don't know why I had speed there, but I think I was kind of helped out by the fact that the whole field wrecked on lap one, two. So that's, uh, that helped, obviously. And then, uh, then like Phoenix, which was kind of a Mickey Mouse race in this car, but I did well with that because it was like a. This car's going to be getting retired soon. Are they replacing it? Yeah. Um, so that was like running an intermediate track in this car, which was, you know, more of what I'm good at anyway. They're replacing it, yeah. I don't know if anyone ever answered him. Session last lap. I should have been able to hear it, I think, if they did. I knew they were updating the supers, but I wasn't sure if they had plans to update this car or not. What are they doing to the supers? About the supers. I don't even know in that car. Oh, we got people being crazy Just in the chat. Just updates <laughs> where it really, it really has more of the uh, features of the Camaro so instead of having to lay up. Skin over top to make it look like I think I'm gonna have to mute that. I don't need to be distracted right now. Um, at least we got the inside. We got P9. Nick had a pretty good lap. He's in P5. I hope this is gonna be clean. I'm a little concerned by some of the things I'm seeing. Seems like we got some interesting characters in here. <laughs> Hopefully it'll be okay though. I think we're going to do a second gear start. It seems a bit short for first gear. Honestly, even if I do poorly this race, I really hope Nick has a good race. He has been having terrible luck lately. So I just kind of hope that he can actually avoid being taken out by someone on a straightaway for once. One to go. Like just go what on. happened in the Advanced Legends and what seems to happen every other race. <laughs> like, if I have to sacrifice my race in the uh, luck department, like, 
At least let him have a good run. Jesus. I feel bad for him. But, best case scenario, we can both have a good run. We're getting started. So we get to the inside of some guys. Is he getting taken three wide already? Am I getting taken three wide already? Oh boy, yeah, we got some characters in here. Okay, that's that was rad. Good job. Uh, we're still heading the right direction, at least. I don't know how much damage I have. Probably a lot. I'd overdrive that because that guy's diving it in. All right. Well, we survived whatever that was. Somehow, it looked really bad there for a moment. But we're actually behind Nick, and we are in sixth place. It actually really worked out for us, other than the 4X, but you know, I'll take that if that's the payment. Inside. Clear inside. And, uh, well, it thins the field out, so maybe we'll... A little bit more luck. I, kind of, I feel like I emerged from the ashes right there. Like there was just a big, huge wreck. Somehow I survived it. I didn't even really dodge anything. It just kind of was serendipitous. No idea if I'm, like, ripping the tires off or if I'm supposed to be saving tires or something right now. I'm just driving. Like I'm qualifying or something. Probably not a good idea, but I don't really know any better in this car. No, we're just gonna, <laughs> we're just gonna go for it, I guess. Slow car down low. We did do this uh, combo for season zero, didn't we? For the K5 championship, so we do have a little bit of experience here, so that's always helpful. I need as much as I can get. It's short tracks. Not my comfort zone. As it is, so. Gavin won himself a race here for his send off. That was pretty well done. That was fun to watch. He got it done. And uh, he fought off his normal bad luck, too, because he almost got taken out by a spinning car. Luck tried to get him, but he fought it off and got the win, so that was cool. See if I can catch Nick. I feel like we might just barely be inching closer, but not much. That lap was at 17.5. Getting close to the apron, gotta be careful. It's kind of hard to see where the apron is there at a four. Kind of like... I guess there's a line there, but it's kind of faded, maybe? Kind of hard to tell where you are. He's taking a wider entry into, into three. That might be a way he's not hurting his car as much log run speed compared to me. That might be what I should be doing. I'm just gonna keep racing how I know, though. I don't want to change anything too drastically right now, because we're doing okay. We got lots of room behind us, particularly with guys on our lap, so that's good. Almost got on the throttle a little early there. Try to get some green. If I can get some green on the session last lap, I can feel pretty good about that. As long as it stays green, I mean, I can get green on entry, and that just means I'm overdriving the entry. Green at the end of the lap is what I'm looking for. Or at least close to uh, even. This really cleaned up, though, after that first perfuffle. 
kind of trying to keep it low on exit. It seems like that's helping. Plus, it's uh, allowing me to not push up in the wall. Nick got some cone there. I hope that's not a penalty. Uh-oh. Where's this car stopped ahead? Low. Okay, that's fine. I think. Okay, yeah. Just worried for a second. No, we're fine. Trying to keep it low, pushing as hard as I can. We're still not even halfway through this thing. Plenty of time for things to happen. Probably plenty of time for lap cars to become a thing as well. Right, Already got a couple, and there's going to be more, I imagine. What if the right rear is actually going to be an issue? I know some combos with this late model. Right rear, actually, was uh, more worn at the end of it. And I think this might have been one of the tracks that was the case. So I'll have to be thinking about that. Ooh, pushing out wide. That wasn't great. Evans has been disqualified. <laughs> it's hard work. Short tracks are hard work. One of those intermediate babies that <laughs> just have to lift off the throttle. I have to. I start crying when I have to hit the brakes. Where? My left foot? I have to use my left foot too? Ugh. Uh oh, that's wall. I did it too. I followed him and I was about to. I was heading to the wall before he even was going that way though. It's kind of funny. That wasn't even a case where I followed him. I was already pushing Y and I was being stubborn. Hold it together. Don't push wide. Gotta remind myself to do what I said I was gonna do and just keep it low. You're on the bottom, don't overdrive the exits. We're only now halfway. Car's definitely getting tighter. Okay, we're halfway to the finish. You've been halfway through the finish. Silly cool chief. You've just done a 17.8. Just feel like we're we, we were gaining a little bit earlier, maybe. I don't know if we're gaining anymore. Pretty close on speed. That lap was at 17.8. A little bit of the apron there. Get a bad corner, maybe. The temptation to overdrive the exit is definitely there. Gotta watch it. Ooh, a little bit of the apron, maybe. That wasn't great. He's catching that eight car up there, who I think actually might have been in some of the... Uh, K5 championship races. His name seems familiar. So it's kind of looking like one of those races right now. I could be thinking of someone else. Your lap time was at 17.8. I'm going to be more patient on exit. I keep saying it, but I have to keep reminding myself, and that's why. there I don't know how I don't know if we'll ever be able to make a pass though we're just gonna need a mistake if we want to actually make a pass that was 
Shows 10 to 1 for steering ratio. That always just feels better to me in this car. I think I've gotten used to it. I like the extra turning radius. Or however you would say that. How's this gonna go? We got a lap car coming up. Okay, Colton. Lap times are pretty consistent. Gotta keep it low. Outside. Outside is clear. I don't think we lost too much there, just a little bit. Pass? Can we take advantage? He's opening the door for us, I like it. That was a 17.8. I think I'm behind, it's now 5.7 seconds. Outside. Clear. Car Hello. outside. Keep low. Keep low. Man, this is fun, this is a great combo. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. He's holding on, but I think we got it. I don't know if you can hold out on that out there too long. Hold it down low so we can't cross this over. Top five, awesome. Had to drive a little harder there. It looked like you might think about diving it in. I didn't let that happen. You got chicken streaker in your head? Oh, I almost hit the inside wall. That's not something I considered until I almost hit it, so now I gotta think about that. Don't do that. That's not a good way to be fast, I imagine. <laughs> I really want to try to catch a passive. I don't think it's going to happen, though. Like, again, I might get to his bumper. I'd, it's not going to happen, though. I don't think I can set anything up. He's going to have to make a mistake. Try to be ready for it, though. He might have almost gotten the wall there. Oh, uh, we're approaching five to go. It's six to go right now. Your lock time was 17.9. I can't wait till we get the new one. I hope it's just as fun because this is great. You got five left to go. Time was 17.9. Oh, we're getting close. We'll pressure him. I already know he, he would never fall for the fake on the inside, so I'm not even going to bother wasting my time doing that. He invented that, as far as I'm concerned. I learned that from watching his videos. Oh, I cut the apron. Uh, lap traffic ahead and a lead lap guy trying to deal with it. Push, push, push. We can catch this car. 
White flag, Alpha. Yeah, to go. That last lap was at 17.9. Still there, hold your line. Keep low. Clear up, cop. <laughs> Oh man, I tried. I tried to get him. It didn't work though. I kind of wish that 10 wasn't there. I could have tried something else. Oh, but I wasn't going to get him. Nice run. Solid work. Good race. Good win. Woo, my hands hurt. That means uh, we've had a good race, right? When your hands hurt afterward. Looking in here. <laughs> we got past the eight, uh, thanks to his help. We will get ourselves a top five, and uh, we got a four X on the start because of that wreck. Um, let right in there. Not sure I would have had a. No, that's sure I would have had you anyway. I would have tried. <laughs> oh, I can't fit it. I'm not sure what I would. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think I would have gotten him anyway. I probably I could have maybe gotten alongside. I don't know if I could have actually gotten the pass done though. Hey, look at that. 80-80. I didn't try to save tires. Probably everyone else had 90-90, but they're even. What happened up there? So the 13 gets into the back, the 6, it looks like. And that, yeah, gets into him, and then he just keeps pushing him and keeps pushing him until they both get into the wall. And then I just get a little bit of side contact. Uh, Yeah, the 13 just didn't lift. He just kept pushing him until he wrecked. That's... Not a great race strategy, although I guess it worked out for him, didn't it? As is usually the case by from someone that wrecks someone. So for us... That was even net code. Like, I don't even feel like... He straightens it out. Pretty net code -y. But we avoid any major damage. I'm glad Nick made it to the end. Like I said, he's been having struggles lately, so. 16. Looks like he clipped the apron, got into the wall. Up front here. Yeah. P1 and P2. Just a little bit of wall going on there as well. 7. 5 gives a bump. What do we... Are these guys on the same lap? No. That is a... Is that what? Okay, first of all, I accidentally looked at another wreck. So this is a lapped car running into a lead lap car. He gets the wall, though, I guess, to be fair. And then what happened back here? We saw something else going on back here, too. Not the pace car. 16. I think the 13 got in the wall, yeah. Got to, gets in the wall hard, then pulls it off, and then wrecks the 16. 13's, uh... He's having himself a day. Yep. 
So 16 ends up in the pits. 10 is finding some wall. Sixteen fighting some apron. No, you just got that new car. Moving along, we got some wall. That's a pretty heavy hit though, I can see the damage. Not much going on there. What did Nick do? Did he get the wall a little bit? I don't think I even saw that. Maybe I did. I don't remember it. Moving right along. Almost over the race is at this point. Lap 41. Leader's trying to throw it away. He ends up getting it though, doesn't he? Yeah. Really wants to get that wall. Alright, and that was it. He passed the 8. Hello to him if he was the guy that uh, was in the K5 championship as well. Kind of want to go back and see the pass. Hope I did a, a good job. I, I think I did. Okay, I didn't dive it in. I was trying to be aggressive, make sure I got in there so I could take advantage of the opportunity. I got my nose there, not quite. Oh, he pushes out wide here. I didn't see that. That really helped. So, just gonna review this real quick. Make sure I gave room. It's looking okay. And then once he's on the outside, I think we had it all good and done. See, here I was a little concerned. It looked like he was maybe peeking for a second, like right here ish. Yeah, he was definitely peeking right here. So I drove in really hard to kind of prevent that. He might have just been trying to scare me up, though. He was good. He, he, he uh, held his line the whole time, didn't do anything over-aggressive or anything. So that was it. That was a fun race. Um, glad uh, I get to finish off this version of the late model with a nice race. Pretty good race. I think he did pretty good in the season standings, too, actually. I saw that was like a 20th place or something in the standings. I'll go ahead and look that up on my phone real quick just to tell you because this is week 12, the last uh, week of this car and it will be replaced with the new shiny car that is essentially going to be comparable to this presumably but uh, will be different and now it's still saying P20 for the overall standings for me. I don't know if that's updated or not but that's what I've got and what I'm looking at here. So that's pretty good. I wasn't even really trying, but I, I didn't even realize I did at least eight weeks of this. But hey, that's pretty good, especially because I'm not so great at short tracks usually. But that'll do it for this one. It's fun racing Nick. Of course, uh, be sure to watch his upload if you haven't already. You probably have. But uh, that'll do it. Appreciate you, and I hope you have a good one. I'll see you next time.